Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone I am Muhammad Mahesa And I will be a host for our podcast today And here is our guest star Please introduce yourself Hi everyone, let me introduce myself My name is Mia Pujanini And I'm coming from the State Polytechnic of Sriwijaya English study program Especially in 4 BB class Okay Puja We will discuss about the tourism industry in Palembang. For you, what is tourism industry? Okay, for me, tourism industry refers to the unit consisting of transportation, accommodation, entertainment, shopping, and as a trade that offers services to the tourism and have common function. Okay, now we live in Palembang City. According to you, are all of tourism destinations here for most in other city? Okay, of course, yes, they are. They are famous enough in other city, but there is something need to improve. What is it? So, well, tourism destination in Parliament City are relatively underpromoted, so they are not as well known as other cities in Indonesia, uh, such as Yogyakarta, Bali, and etc. So, the lack of promotion, I see that this is a weakness of the tourism sector in Palembang. And although Palembang is already well known because it has hosted in Sea Games, Asian Games, if it is not marketed, it will be useless. What should the government do to overcome this situation? Okay, the city government should establish a special agency to manage promotion like what Balian Yogyakarta did. The existence of the Regional Tourism Promotion Board is absolutely necessary if you want to promote tourism in our way because in principle people must know first before wanting to come and taking care of this is not easy. Do you have any example of concept? Yes, of course I have. So the concept of the promotion to improve this brand must be understood so that the city government is not ripped or trapped by the problem of inadequate tourism infrastructure. So when it comes to infrastructure, it will never start. There will always be a shortage. So it must be reserved starting with promotion first, then entering this product, while of course of fixing the infrastructure. So related to this promotion, the city government not only needs a special agency, but also cooperation with tourism service associations such as uh, PHRI, ASITA, and start sitting together and determine uh, the strategy going forward because the tourism potential in Palembang is actually so large but has not been explored ultimately. Okay, do you want to eat your last statement? Okay, of course I would like. So Palembang City uh, has a number of tourism potentials, namely religious tourism, culinary tourism, shopping tourism, historical or heritage tourism. For religious tourism, Kemara Island is always crowded with thousands of people of Chinese distance to celebrate Chinese New Year. And because there is the Hoqing Rio Temple and the development of the legend of finding a maid. And in addition, currently about 35% of tourists visiting Indonesia are interested in natural factors such as ecology and marine life and around 60% are interested in culinary, religion and history while only 5% are interested in artificial tourism such as shows and various exhibitions. And meanwhile, the number of tourist visits to South Sumatra is around 3 million, 3 million people per year and well this year uh, this recent year, the South Sumatra Provincial Culture and Tourism Office is targeting to increase rapidly to make up for 5 million people. That's why, as citizens in Parliament City, we have to contribute to promote this lot of tourism destination through other ways, such as through our media social. It is very good idea. In addition to my previous video, I would like to add some detailed suggestions for better tourism industry in Parliament City. First is do online promotion. The lack of tourism promotion in Parliament City is one of the reasons for the weakening of tourism visitors in Parliament. Therefore, we need to promote many tourism destinations in Parliament City through digital way. We can promote tourism destinations by creating interactive blogs 
website and social media accounts which are often seen by people. Second, infrastructure development and information. Other convenience are obtained from the convenience of transportation facilities, lodging, places to stay, shopping, to internet network. But this is what we need to be provided by government so that tourists are comfortable visiting Palermo City. So the third one is create a safe and peaceful environment. So Palermo is one of the largest cities in Indonesia, which is at a risk of having many criminal cases as well. Therefore, the government and police officers need to maintain the stability and provide security guarantees for tourists visiting Palermo. That way, a positive image will grow and can increase tourists who come to Palermo. Okay, guys. That's all from me. I'm Nia Bujanin and coming from State Volcanic of Sriwijaya. I would like to say thanks so much for watching. Hopefully, this information and video that we talk will be useful for us. Finally, I say, Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.